Hi everybody, welcome to Mark's Backyard Birds. A little bit different kind of show tonight. I, uh, I, you know, I'm, you're probably most familiar with me talking about backyard birds and uh, bird feeding, and and I talk about the hobby of bird watching as well. But tonight I am doing a kind of a trip to Cozumel video. Uh, Melanie and I just came back from a cruise that we did as part of a group that we are part of, and there were two protocols on the cruise. One was Cozumel Island, and the other was Coco Cay, which is a small private island. And anywhere, anytime I get the chance to go somewhere where there are going to be new birds. Now, if you're not a, a, a bird birder or a bird watcher who is uh, in the field of bird bird watching and actively go out and search for birds, uh, this may be a little bit different for, for you because I try to encourage, I tried, I've always tried to, 40 years of doing this, try to get people out beyond their backyards to look at more birds in the, in the world. And whenever we get a chance to go somewhere, like it would it be a family vacation or in the past, dad would always get up like, you know, early in the morning and, and head out and do some bird watching for two or three hours. And then by the time I got back to the hotel room, uh, the kids were, and Melanie were getting up and then we would go do the family thing. Well, this was our first really empty nester trip that we have done, which is great. <clears throat> you know, the kids are grown and moved out now. And when we go on vacation, it's just Melanie and I, and this, we had a chance to go on this cruise. And so how I do this and to give you a, a few tips is, when I know we're going somewhere, now I have a lot of resources, I have a lot of books because I've been doing this for so long. I, I start doing research on what potential birds that are there that I've never seen before. It's called your life list. And and, it, and for, for a birder like myself, I, my goal is to see as many different kinds of birds as I possibly can. And I get really excited when I get to go somewhere. Now, cardinals and eastern bluebirds and chickadees, those are all beautiful birds and I love them so much. But when I get to go to another country or a different part of this country, I always get excited and I want to know what birds are going to be there that I have a chance to see. So what I do is I do research and I uh, the Internet is full of resources that you can look up uh, and find checklists of birds that are uh, for Cozumel Island in this case. And a checklist of Coco Cay is even on the Internet. And what I do is I print them off. And in this case, I take highlighters. And I highlight the birds that I could possibly see that I've never seen before. Now, I know that most of these birds that are highlighted in yellow, I will not get to see. Many of them are even rare there on Cozumel Island. Some of them are night birds, you, you know, whippoorwill types and, and owls and things like that, which I'm only going to be birding for about five hours uh, during the day from when I can get off the cruise ship meet up with a guy uh, I hooked up with on the internet. Uh, he's my guide. Uh, his name was Elvis Jimenez. He is fantastic. I'm going to put all the contact information for him in the description below. And I, and I, cause I know a lot of cruise ships go to Cozumel. If you have the chance to go out with it with him for a few hours, it's, it's about five hours that we were out. It was fantastic. Uh, it, for me, uh, we saw a total of 63 species that day and I got six lifers, six birds I've never seen before. Uh, and it was fantastic. Just had a great time. Two brand, two new hummingbirds on Cozumel that I've never seen before. It, it was just a great trip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the video. And what I did is during the day, I, I, we, I recorded a few snippets while we were bird watching. And I've got pictures that, uh, that I tried to post for the new birds that we were seeing. I don't have pictures for all of them. And almost all these pictures were given to me by Elvis uh, after I got back. He sent them to me. We, we, he wasn't. He didn't have his camera that day. He wasn't taking pictures, but he had, he takes a lot of pictures and they're fantastic. Um, and so I, I use those to post on there. And there's a two in there that are by another friend of mine who was just down in Cozumel recently. Uh, and he's a good... He's in the credits below as well uh, in the two pictures he took. So I hope you enjoy it and hope, you know, if you have any questions about any place you're going and suggestions, how I can help you uh, and just know that there are almost anywhere you can go like that. There's somebody locally that leads bird tours like I do here. So I hope you enjoy the video and here this guy is coming next. Good morning, everybody. We're birding here on the island of Cozumel. Uh, my trip leader, uh, Elvis Jimenez, is uh, 
cut us into a hot spot right off the bat. We're seeing lots of great stuff here and lots of great stuff. Um, the Cozumel Emerald, the endemic uh, hummingbird here, long forked tail. I'll get a picture post of this feeding right here in front of us. And, uh, just have black cat birds, which is a life bird for me. So two life birds first thing in the morning is a wonderful thing. So we, uh, I'll try to make some recordings of this during the day and um, put it all together. Continue to bird here on Cozumel Island, uh, racking up a nice list of birds. I'm going to flip the camera around and show you the habitat that we're, we're birding in. All along this brushy area, and along the low stuff on the edge, we've had lots of banana pips, uh, Cozumel emeralds, Cozumel vireos, the trees, and each can woodpeckers. Uh, the Cozumel Vireo and uh, Yucatan Vireo. You can hear the woodpeckers drumming. Tropical mockingbirds, tropical kingbirds. This has been a good place to be. They love this edge. The, they have a really unique subspecies of black, a uh, blue-gray gnatcatcher that has a very bold eye ring. A little different uh, resident population here. Uh, Rufus Barrett Browed Pepper Shrike, which is a type of Vireo. Nice pair of those. Beautiful habitat on a beautiful morning. Back on the road here in Cozumel at our first spot at the top of the morning, we ended up with 33 species, um, several lifers for me, uh, and some uh, island endemics, which are really, really cool, can only be found here. Uh, we're moving on to a small pond, and then we'll go to another spot. Uh, it's been, the Cozumel Emerald was by far the most beautiful thing I'd seen. And, but, had great luck in getting out and we're going to these little tucked away places that only the local guys would know you know that we aren't going to the big touristy sites here on Cozumel so much quieter for us and, and the birds are less skittish and stuff so we're having a great trip so far thank you okay we've stopped at a wetland area name called Humedales del Sur beautiful little roadside wetland of brackish water um, lots of egrets, we've had uh, and herons, we have tricolored heron, great little blue heron, great egret, um, lots of coots, um, common gallinules. There was a least bittern that made a brief appearance for us, but uh, tropical kingbirds, uh, just a beautiful spot. And behind us is the ocean, so it's a, a great little area to add to the list. We are in El Cidral now, uh, starting another checklist. We've got a, a banana cuts, we've got uh, palm warblers, uh, para, northern parallels, all those wintering birds down here, uh, Yucatan woodpecker, uh, yellow faced grass quit, uh, to flip it around so you can see the habitat. Kiskity. Great kiskity calling. And always. Uh, tropical mockingbirds and uh, tropical kingbirds. Which one is? Oh, pepper shrike calling a river's back pepper shrike. We've seen two or three of those at the last site. And the yellow warbler here is known as the golden warbler. It has rufus on top of the head, but it has that still sweet, sweet, um, so sweet call we're used to in Kansas City.